Hello and welcome to my channel and today we are doing a come shop with me. We've got the range and um, come over to a place called Lakeside in Essex with my friend Louise and we've already been in Primark and Body Care and a couple of other shops but it was too busy in there to film so um, I've managed to get some in the range and B&M for you so I hope you enjoy it. Right, so I've had to do a voiceover in here because there was some music playing in the background and I didn't want to get demonetized. So let's start off in the lovely section. I love this section of um, the range with the home interiors. There's some fabulous bits and bobs. Love these door stops, um, great big knots. And these apples and pears are really nice for £3.49. Little letter box here, that was very snazzy with a diamante sort of finish. Um, I'm actually after some um, planters. Alan and I are getting into growing succulents and cactuses, or cacti. That's why I came into the range to see if there was anything um, that I could chew, uh, that I could find. So over to this little glass area here with some foliage and uh, different sort of. In fact, this is the wedding area, the bride area. So you've got all sorts of floral um, pieces here few garlands. These are really, really pretty. Considering they're artificial, they're really nice and good, good value at 2 49 each. Love these little sort of planter sort of pots. 12 99 like pretend herbs, sort of the artificial herbs. Next over to some more. These are a bit random. These sort of caught my eye. I'm still not quite sure what they are. Um, there was so, sort of, I don't know, trays or something. Um, and then we've got some artificial plants. They were a little bit dodgy. I wasn't overly keen on those. And uh, over here, yeah, getting a bit of a... It's a bit mixed up in here today. I did find it a little bit all over the place, actually. This is a little sort of pretend succulent. There's a lot of those around. And then back over to this silver area. I love the silver and glass area with these sort of sparkles and crystals. Some nice little home um, pieces here. And then these, what do you call them, Pouffets. These are really nice and such good value. And then some more vases. Love all of these. I was very, very tempted to get a couple of these because they're really good quality and uh, decent price. And here's another one. These are the ones that you put the, um, the candles in. $9.99 for that, which is, is great value. I quite like these bowls. I've already got one similar to this, which I had from Home Sense actually. And uh, in fact, I've got a couple, but they're um, a little bit more expensive in Home Sense. Just a bit more of the um, crystal mirror and glassware here. This bowl I really like the look of, and I'd seen something similar to this in a garden center. And it was twelve ninety nine in there, but in the range it was only seven ninety nine, so a good value there. And this one I also loved, which would be an ideal fruit basket. Really nice sort of tempered um, metal with the holes in for ten ninety nine. A few more little bits and bobs here for the mantelpiece, as it were, and on to some more door stops. I love all this sort of stuff. And I, I've got a thing about things with little animals. There's ducks, there's snails, there's little sheep, there's elephants, all sorts of different things here. I love them. Look at that little elephant. And these door stops are cute. Look at, look at that little dog in the background there. Uh, more planters, more um, plant pots catching my eye. And there's some more there. And again, some more door stops, some little dogs. And I love the sort of a Cheshire cat, which is, this is a plant pot actually, and we'll come on to those again in a minute because we'll see some more. And here they are, there they are. These are all sort of, um, I think you can use these outside actually, some of these. Love this. This was a very, very interesting sort of um, bit of decor. These bits here, again, like I said earlier, you can use a lot of those outside. They're all sort of artificial outside pieces. Onto the clocks. They've got so many clocks in the range. All different sizes, all different prices. Really, really good value and quite quirky, some of them. 
More plant pots, 390, uh, 349 for these. And again, more plant pots. Sorry, this is a little bit plant pot orientated. <laughs> Love these. These are all the lit up mirrors. I said to my friend, could we just have a quick look down here? Because I really like this aisle. Um, unfortunately, this one here was smashed. I think you'll see it in a minute. It's got a smash in the corner somewhere. But these, they're less than £100. They're lit up. I could imagine in a, a beautiful um, dressing room, they'd look lovely. And this one here is such good value. Really big. There's me. Posing. Trying to be discreet, filming. <laughs> These, to be honest, hadn't changed a lot since the last visit, so you may have seen some of those before. I just nipped into the bedding aisle here, just a little bit of the, um, the children's sort of bedding. And then just a little snoop around the rest of the shop, looking at some um, throwovers, throws. Not throwovers, what am I on about? Throws. <laughs> Love these. These were all the rage last year, weren't they? The big knitted ones. This one didn't have a price on it though, and it was a bit battered, to be honest. This, I, I did, I think I again, I think I showed this on my last haul. Oh, this lovely, lovely furry grey throw is absolutely gorgeous. Silver faux fur throw gorgeous but no price the problem is with the range nothing has a price this one here made me laugh it was 9.99 and it got a security tag on it they're like a, a chenille type throw just a little mooch around what we got next oh some cleaning items the range is great for cleaning products they have they don't have a massive stock but they have a lot of selection so a lot of different product lines. So as you can see, there's only a couple of bits of each of each um, product, but there's a lot of. And this bit around the corner here, such a tiny area, but again, so much stuff in here. You've got all the different big top brands. I think um, must have been a bit busy before we arrived because this this place was looking a bit depleted. Sif. That used to be called, I think it used to be called Jif. Look at this, not seen this before, elbow grease. So this is a similar sort of thing to the Vanish um, soap, but elbow grease, elbow grease is version for a pound. Only one left in there and I did actually leave it because I've already got a Vanish version. I think the range must have a deal with Astonish because they've got so many Astonish products in here. And to be honest, I really do rate Astonish. I like them as a, as a brand. This one I'm going to show you in a minute, the cleaning, um, the hob cleaning, uh, the hob cleaner by Astonish. It's only a pound. It's really, really good if you're looking for something. And um, I've not seen this one before. So it, it's the same stuff that do the sticky stuff, but it was a stain remover spray. Um, and then you get the sticky stuff remover spray. And this one here, Barkeeper's Friend, I've actually bought some of this. I think I got it in a spray version, but it's supposed to be fantastic as a stain remover. That one's 2 49 but I've never used it yet. So let me know in the comments down below if you've tried it. On to more plant pots. Sorry, more plant pots, I know. Yeah, these were just exactly what I was looking for for my little succulents. Um, we're really, or should I say we're really? Hardly. We have been struggling to find some plant pots that are small. These ones are lovely. I really like these, but they were too big for what I needed. I wanted some quite small plant pots just to put little tiny succulents in, eventually with some sort of stones on the top. Um, there's some stones there in the scene, as you can see, but they were too big. But Everywhere I've looked has either got the succulents already in them or the plant pots are too big. But luckily I found some smaller ones which were ideal. I'd never really looked down here. It's the gardening section. Now I'm getting into a bit of gardening. Um, just had a quick browse around here for you. A bit boring. So I soon scooted out of that area into the pet area. Just had a little quick look round here. We've got a dog, Zara, and um, I always like to take her some treats home. Um, Louise, who I was with, she'd got a cat, so she was having a look at a few cat bits. So here are the dog beds. Um, we got Zara from Aldi, a, one of these snuggle beds, and she absolutely loves it, but it's too small for her. 
So I've been trying to look for some bigger ones. And they had a really good range in the range. Um, but none of them really were big enough for Zara because she's a Rhodesian Ridgeback and she's 35 kilos, so she needs a big bed. Love these. Look at this storage area. Look at these stickers. I've not seen these before in a shop. Talk about jump on the bandwagon. Um, everybody's into storage, storage boxes, and yeah, they've produced some stickers to go on the storage boxes, which I think is a fantastic idea. They're really affordable as well. And they've got a whole new range, at the range, so cheesy, of um, storage baskets. Look at all these really nice pastel colours, different designs of boxes. I love these. Uh, the only thing is, because they're a bit rounded, which I'm showing you here, they don't necessarily fit, say, in a drawer or cupboard the same as these do. These are sort of squared edged ones that sort of stack or, you know, fit next to each other a bit better. Um, these here are more sort of the kitchen storage and you've got a few here, a bit bigger these ones with tops or with lids. And here's one that they've already got pre-badged and another little one here Love that little set, bits and bobs and cleaning. Not that you get much in them because they're quite small. Again, no prices, I'm afraid, but I like those. Here, I spotted something I've been after for ages. I needed something to put my false nails in. I bought something similar, I think from Home Bargains, um, a while back and I've not seen anything since. And this one was really big, it was 2 dollars so that went straight in my basket. And here as well, I spotted these. Um, I was after some drawer dividers or drawer organizers um, just to put all my bits and bobs in and stuff that I get free when I've been contacting different places for my YouTube videos. And again, this sort of thing here um, to go in my drawers. So I asked how much they were and I think they came in at 4 dollars Here I am just asking the man for it. And yeah, I bought some of those. Here's just some bigger storage. I really like these, they've got some really nice designs on. Great for children's nurseries, or I like that bee design over in the corner there that you could use. So I hope you've enjoyed those. Um, I decided to do the voiceover because there's just too many people around to try and start speaking. And it just draws attention to myself, you know, with security and everything. So um, hopefully, Actually, my friend said it's much better when I do it like that because you can hear what I'm saying and you can hear the prices a lot clearer. So, I hope you've enjoyed that one. Please do subscribe if you're not already and do give me a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to drop me a comment down below and um, I'll hopefully get back to you. So, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.